So these trees actually stretch, I would say about 30 meters up or something. It's quite tall, maybe even 40. Really hard to tell, but they're really, really tall. Looks and they're really like nice. so bended in the end, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. It goes like this. Beautiful arch. Beautiful arch. Stretching towards the sky. <laughs> Stretching towards the sky. <laughs> it's so cool. Eh? I get the feeling that there's like tons of wild animals hiding behind here somewhere. Yeah, there we have one. The wildest of them all. This is us, this is. And don't believe the narcissism when everyone projects and expects you to listen to them. Make no mistake, I'm living in a prison. That I build myself, it is my religion. And they say that I am a sheep boy. Easy to say. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's happy. No, I'm just filming and being happy. All right, guys, that was really cool. Actually, we're really glad we came here. Yeah, so now we're gonna head off to the Tarsier Sanctuary and try to cuddle, or at least look at those and tiny. We can cuddle them, but gonna cuddle with those tiny little with animals. The huge the eyes. Those ones. Those ones. They are, I think they're adorable. We're really looking forward to this. So we're heading to a place called Coachella. Yeah. Or Cornella. 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 <laughs> Coachella is the festival free. Ah, okay. So we're heading to the. No clue. No clue. We're heading to Cornella uh, to cuddle with, or at least see, unfortunately, <laughs> some Tazias, and it should be good. We're looking forward to this. So, yeah, let's go. She almost fell off the scooter. She almost fell asleep. We woke up really early today. Really early. So we made it here to the Tarsia Sanctuary in Cornella. I'm pretty sure it's called Cornella now. And we're right outside. Cornella. What? Cornella. Oh, Cornella. I was wrong again. <laughs> so we're here at the Tarsia Sanctuary outside Cornella. Yeah, we're about to head in. But there's a quiet zone from here on in. Because as they say on this sign here, the Tarsiers are nocturnal animals, so they are very active at night and they sleep during daytime. They're very sensitive to light because they have these huge, huge eyes. So they advise you not to disturb them so you don't ruin their natural habitat. So we aren't sure whether we can do much talking while we're in there. So in that case, at least you get a, just like a bunch of footage from there. There's some interesting stuff here though. Don't you think so? For example, they can actually turn their head 360 degrees around but their eyes can only stay in one direction. So in order to see to the side, they actually have to do this. Which is cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
going to do a Tarsia quiz now. First question is the Tarsia monkey. I don't think so, I just read it. It's not a monkey. It's a primate like monkeys, but belong to a more primitive, primitive family. Second question. What does it mean that the Tarsia is an endangered species? I think they don't grow that much. I think the population actually shrinks. Nice one. Endangered species has at least 20% chance of completely vanishing from the world in the next 20 years. Wow, I didn't know this. This is actually super interesting. So. What does a Tarsia eat? What do they eat? Do they eat plants? Maybe? No. I think I read that they eat live prey. That's one of the only primates that live on live prey. Live prey? I'm not sure what that means, but it said on their side. Live prey. Oh, insects. Insects. Is it a frog? Okay. What does nocturnal mean? What does nocturnal mean? Julia? Your question. <laughs> this is your question for you. She doesn't know. <laughs> no. It means that they're active during night time and not in daytime. So they sleep during the day. Oh. Active at night. Yay. How many young Cantasias have each year? One. Why? Only one year because they, I think, Six months they have the baby in the belly. <laughs> They're pregnant. <laughs> They're pregnant. And the other six months they have to take care of it. Yeah. Correct. Yay. Okay, so last question. What are the main threats to the Tarsiers? Ooh, I don't know this one. I'm going to say that people are cutting away their forests and their natural habitats. I don't know. Let's see. Habitat, Habitat destruction, yay. number one. House cats. Wow. Never would have thought this. Hunt, hunting and hunting. trade. <gasps> so it was pretty much from humans at least. I got the first one right and all of them are human. Wow. Human threats, not good, not yeah. good. Okay, so we left now so we can talk again. And the charges were ridiculously cute. Honestly, so cute. They were way, way, way smaller than I thought. I thought actually they were like... I don't know, like a small monkey kind of, but they're like this. It's ridiculous. Really, really cute. Their eyes are so cute. So it's probably worth a visit, but I felt a little sorry for the Tarsiers that were hanging there and everyone came so close with the cameras and some people didn't even turn off the sound of the cameras or forgot to turn off the lightning. So yeah, some of the Tarsiers, we saw them waking up. Okay, so that's it from us for now. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss the next videos and the journey continues tomorrow.